Hey sports fans, it's Mama Jo. Today I'm cooking for you and we are going to have a fabulous grilled salmon. But the star of the show is the seafood mac and cheese. Let's go. So today we're going to start with grating cheese. This recipe calls for a lot of cheese. It's three cups of extra sharp cheddar and three cups of Gruyere. The reason I'm grating my own cheese is that pre-grated cheese comes with a powder to prevent caking. But while it prevents caking, it also stalls the melting process. So we are gonna start with the cream sauce. We're gonna start off with six tablespoons of butter. And as you can see, my pot is already heated up. The stove is on a medium, but I'm gonna turn it down because I don't want the butter to brown. So my butter is melted, and in the background you hear the water boiling for the pasta. We're going to be doing these at the same time. And we're just going to start adding a little bit of flour and stirring to create that pretty creamy roux. So my roux with six tablespoons of butter and one cup of flour is now ready. And we're going to go ahead and add our milk. And that's three cups of milk that we're going to gradually add in while whisking. We're going to make sure you keep whisking to keep it nice and smooth. My three cups of milk have been incorporated and now we're still on a medium heat. And now we're going to add one cup of heavy cream. While my base is still coming together, I'm going to go ahead and drop the pasta. I'm using one pound of elbow macaroni. We're gonna let it boil for about five minutes. We're gonna boil it al dente so that we can finish it on the grill. Now I'm gonna slowly incorporate the cheeses. Again, we had three cups of extra sharp cheddar and three cups of Gruyere. We're just gonna put a handful in at a time and continue to stir. We don't want the, um, the cheese to scorch at the bottom. While I'm waiting on the cheese sauce, to come together. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of magic salmon seasoning on some freshly cleaned uh, shrimp and scallops. And then it's going to go on the Traeger. The Traeger should be up to temp about 400. We're just going to partially cook the shrimp and the scallops before we uh, include it into the mac and cheese. So I'm going to create a little paste for the salmon before we season it. I have two tablespoons of olive oil, some freshly chopped parsley, and a little bit of garlic. And we're simply just going to mix this together. So we're going to take the paste and we're going to use our little brush and we're just going to brush it on the salmon and we want to make sure we get that good stuff on there. Coat this salmon well. The magic salmon seasoning, this is going to be my first layer, put a generous amount. And we're gonna come back with a blackened seasoning. And that's gonna be our top layer or our top coat. And we are ready to go. So it's been a few minutes. We're gonna go ahead and pull the scallops and the shrimp. We don't want them to overcook and be rubbery. So my cheese sauce is done and the stove is off and we're gonna go ahead and add the mac and cheese. And then we're gonna give it a good stir. Nice and creamy. And now we're gonna add our scallops and shrimp. There is a third protein that is going into the pot and that is lump crab meat. Look at that beautiful lump crab meat. Into the pot she goes. Give it a nice little stir. We're ready to put it into our casserole dish. So we hope it fits. And I think it is going to fit. I'm gonna have to scrape a little bit out. So look at that beautiful mac and cheese with shrimp, lump crab meat, and scallops. And we're gonna take it up a notch. We have some chicharron, and we're gonna crush it up, and that is gonna be our topping of our mac and cheese. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this all over our mac and cheese. It's gonna go on the Traeger grill at 400 for 45 to 50 minutes. Maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little bit less. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. Okay, so we are right about 400 and we are gonna put this mac and cheese in, as I said earlier, for about 
45 to 50 minutes, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. So we're ready to put our salmon on. And we're guessing that it's going to cook maybe 18 to 20 minutes. We like our salmon medium rare. So we're looking at a temperature of 132 to 135. Okay, so we're gonna pull the salmon and the mac and cheese at the same time. We tempt it and the salmon was at right about 132. So that's right where we like it. And we're gonna let this sit and rest and let me grab the mac and cheese. Wow, what a beautiful platter. Perfectly grilled salmon, the way that we like it, a medium rare between 132 and 135. Oh, seafood mac and cheese with the the shrimp and the the lump crab and the um, the scallops. CJ garnished some shrimp. And to finish it off, of course, we need to be healthy with all of this. And green beans. I can't wait to taste it. Mac and cheese. Mmm. It is creamy, it is rich, it is delicious. And let me just dig into the salmon, which is my favorite, favorite fish. Oh my God. Folks, make this dish. You are in for a treat. I'd like to thank you for joining us once again. If you haven't, subscribe. I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe so that you can watch us every Tuesday and Friday. Thanks for joining us again. Have a good one. Holla.